Hello students, this is Pathology, Chapter 7, Part 4. Tumors of cartilage include chondroma, which is a benign tumor of cartilage, chondrosarcoma, a malignant tumor of cartilage, and treatment of chondrosarcomas include wide surgical excision and they have a poor prognosis. Here is an image of a tumor of cartilage. Tumors of blood-forming tissues include leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma. Leukemia includes a broad group of disorders characterized by an overproduction of atypical white blood cells. The types of leukemia seen are classified according to the kinds of cells that are proliferating, myelocytes, lymphocytes, or monocytes. Acute leukemia is most common in children and young adults. It is characterized by a proliferation of immature white blood cells. Chronic leukemia most frequently occurs in middle-aged adults. It is characterized by excess proliferation of mature white blood cells. It is treated with chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and corticosteroids. The prognosis depends on the type and extent of the disease. Lymphoma, also known as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, is a malignant tumor of lymphoid tissue. The clinical presentation is the gradual enlargement of lymph nodes. The most common intraoral location is the tonsils. It usually occurs in adults and is more common in males than in females. It is treated with radiotherapy, surgery, chemotherapy, or a combination of all. Multiple myeloma is a systematic malignant proliferation of plasma cells. It causes destructive lesions in bone. Most patients are over 40 and it occurs mo most commonly in the seventh decade of life. Males are affected more often than females. Patients usually experience bone pain and swelling. Radiographically, it shows multiple radiolucent lesions, and the mandible is affected more often than the maxilla. Most patients have an elevation of a single type of immunoglobulin called a monoclonal spike. Patients may have fragments of immunoglobulins in their urine known as Benz-Jones proteins. An extramedullary plasmacytoma is a localized tumor of plasma cells in soft tissue. This is treated with chemotherapy and radiation and usually has a very poor prognosis. Metastatic tumors of the jaws. Tumors of the jaws from primary sites elsewhere in the body are rare. Most tumors arise from the thyroid, breast, lungs, prostate gland, and kidneys. The most frequent intraoral site for metastatic tumors is the mandible. Patients may experience pain, paresthesia or anesthesia of the lip, swelling, expansion of the affected bone, and loosening of the teeth in the affected area. Most patients are adults. Males are affected more often than females. Radiographic lesions are usually poorly defined and radiolucent. Roots of involved teeth may show a spiked appearance. Some tumors may form bone and be radiopaque. They are treated with chemotherapy and radiation. The prognosis for patients with tumors that have metastasized to the jaws is poor. Here is an image of a metastatic tumor of the jaws. Discuss discussion questions with your instructor. How are tumors classified? How are tumors treated? What salivary gland tumors may be found within the oral cavity? What does a lipoma contain? 
What is a malignant melanoma and what other entity may it resemble within the oral cavity? And what tumor is associated with a sunburst pattern? This concludes Pathology, Chapter 7, Part 4.